What is this, right? I just relaunched Chamberlain Coffee, the whole company. She's a whole new bitch. I'm so excited to finally tell you about this because I've been working on rebranding Chamberlain Coffee for Ever? My team and I have been working for months making this my dream coffee company. So before we even get into the fucking video, who cares about that? I just wanna talk about the new Chamberlain Coffee. She is a brand new bitch. We changed the whole website. We changed the whole aesthetic of the brand, the packaging, the logo, everything. Like when I opened up this package, I felt like I was giving birth. Um, I wanted to show you guys some of the new products and then we can get into the video, but I just had to talk about this because I'm literally so excited about it and I'm also gonna be using all of this in the video today, but whatever. Number one, we have whole beans. This is the original family blend. This is the blend that we started Chamberlain Coffee with, so the one that you know and love. These also come in steeped bags. Look at the new little logo! A new blend! This is called the Early Bird Blend. This is high caffeine content. It's a light roast, and it's fucking delicious. It also comes in the steeped bags, okay? Then we have the Night Owl Blend. This one's kind of a dark roast, a little bit less caffeine, fucking incredible. This one's actually one of my favorites, if not my favorite, but I love them all, so. Also comes in the steep bags. We have the Social Dog Blend. This one is very good as well. Pretty high caffeine, but not as crazy as the Early Bird. This one is our highest caffeine blend. And last but not least, we have the Careless Clap. Clap. And last but not least, we have the Careless Cat blend. Also medium roast, and this one's a half cap. And it's very fucking good. Oh, and then we also have the steep bags for these two. But we have more shit. We also have reusable straws now, okay? And to go along with that, we now have Chamberlain Coffee mason jars. Ah! Say hello to the new mugs. Okay, and last but not least, we have tote bags. Tote bag haul, logo, early bird, family, social dog, night owl, careless cat. This shit is amazing. I'm so proud of it. I'm so excited to announce it to you guys. So yeah, go shop Chamberlain Coffee, chamberlaincoffee.com. It's a whole brand new bitch now. Link in the description, but also you can just go to chamberlaincoffee.com. Thank you all for your support, and I hope that you love the new blends and you love the new look. I love you guys. Okay, but now it's time to get into the meat of the video. I have a coffee company. It just relaunched, we know, we know, but I find it to be insane that I drink the same coffee drink every day. Cold brew with almond milk and vegan creamer. And then sometimes I'll do espresso with the same two other ingredients. I need to like change it up. I get so many coffee recipes in my For You page on TikTok. And I've been seeing so many recently and I decided why don't I try to make some with you guys. Maybe we can find a new go-to coffee recipe together. <clears throat> I found a bunch of viral-ish coffee recipes on TikTok and we're gonna make a few. Let's try it. Listen, she kind of made it complicated. Coffee Bay 97, she has amazing videos, but the way that she did this was complicated and I'm going to simplify it. I'm gonna take a few of these, Reese's peanut butter cups. See, I'm like a peanut butter bitch. I'm just gonna put a few of these in here, put some cold brew in it, put some milk in it, blend. She used hot coffee to probably melt the, I'm too lazy. This is definitely not a healthy coffee drink. I didn't think about that. I'm gonna take some oat milk because I feel like it's creamy. So let's do a little bit of that. I'm taking some cold brew that I made yesterday. Took the bags out for aesthetic purposes, but um, by the way, I use I use this one. Wait, where's my blender thing? Oh no! If I lost it, I'm gonna fucking freak out. Should I just like add a spoonful of peanut butter in here just for fun? Okay, let's not be impulsive. Ah! Okay, okay, this did not separate well. Let's pour her over ice. It does not look right to me. It kind of tastes good though. You know what you could do? Okay, if you ever make this, use a strainer. Okay, so like strain all the chunks out. Okay, Reese's peanut butter cup coffee. I'm gonna give this a six out of 10. It's a waste of time. I feel like if I would have strained it, it would have been better. Or if I would have melted the Reese's peanut butter cups before. But it's also kind of really good. So maybe seven out of 10, it's not terrible. What is next? Okay, so the next one I saw is this one. 
she basically just made a normal latte but added food coloring. I wanna see if this is a fun experience, if it's worth my time, if it even like looks cool. I think that I'm going to need to froth the milk in order for it to like look cool. So I'm gonna take some oat milk, put it in this frother thing. Blue. Oh my God, I put way too much. So we have blue milk. Now we froth it. I don't know if I'm doing this right at all. God, it's getting very large. No, no, no. Okay, <laughs> that hurt my feelings. Regardless, it will be okay. So I'm gonna use the same cold brew as last time because I feel like this would work better with cold brew, but I don't know. Now, for the big reveal. See, this is just, I don't even need to taste this. This is more of just like seeing if it looks cool challenge. Zero out of 10. That is the most terrifying color I've ever seen. It's a no from me. I love the girl that did this because hers actually looked pretty. I wish that I was her. I mean, it tastes good, it's just, Okay, can we please move on? Okay, so, so far so bad, but I just found this one. Cereal milk latte. That sounds fun to me. I even bought this from Target today for this. Because who the fuck just has this around? Cinnamon, cinnamon Toast Crunch! Like, so the Cinnamon Toast Crunch is in here. It's been in here for a little bit. It's soggy for sure. I'm gonna kind of like, break it up a little bit so that there's more cinnamon toast crunch particles. Wait, this might be fucking fire because the milk in there tastes crazy. Recently, I've been like having dreams and then waking up and thinking that they're real. Like the other day, I like dreamed a conversation with someone and then I would like ask them about it the next day and they were like- We never have that conversation. And I was like, oh fuck. Okay, so we have our, oh fuck, espresso shots in here. Let's give it a go. In order to get maximum flavor out, I'm gonna do this. <laughs> Maybe I'll put a few of these on top. Thumbnail. Thumbnail. Now that is fucking life changing. Okay, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 cereal milk coffee, so good. This is so fucking good. I didn't think it would work because I thought that the coffee flavor would like overpower the milk. I just didn't think that like, you were gonna get the cereal flavor in the coffee, but like, holy shit. Okay, great, we had a success. Now I can go to bed. Okay, bye. Psych! Okay, the next one is a little bit more of a healthy option, so we're just gonna get into it. We use the blender. Whenever I go to New York, I get a like cashew milk latte, and it's so good, and I've never been able to find anything else like it in LA, like anywhere, like it is one of a kind in New York. So I feel like this might replicate it. Also, there's literally residue in here from the last drink, but. It all mixes together in your tummy, right? Adding some maple syrup. Look how fucking cute this is. Like I literally didn't even need to buy maple syrup. I have some in my fridge, but I saw this and I was like, so cute and mini. And then I had to buy it. That's kind of how my brain works. That's probably enough. Then we're gonna add some cashews. She said to use salted ones, which is interesting to me because I'm like, wouldn't you not want that? Maybe it's like a sweet and salty vibe, you know? Put a little bit of cashews in there. That's probably too many. And then last but not least, some cinnamon. Do I even have that? I've had this cinnamon for like two years. I don't think it goes bad, right? We're moving quick today, guys. No need to waste time. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, I'm spending like five seconds on each one. But it's like, what's the point of spending more time than necessary and make it all intricate and shit? That's not how my brain works. I don't care if something looks sloppy as long as I didn't spend a lot of time on it. Except for the rebrand of Chamberlain Coffee, which I spent months on. This looks fucking delicious. Oh, it's like so creamy. Mmm. <gasps> Wait, I really like this one. Oh, wow. This is a nine out of 10. It would be a 10 out of 10 if I would have strained it. That's a reoccurring issue here. There's a lot of little cashew chunks, but I actually really don't mind that. Kind of gives me a little boba vibe. I'm impressed. Might be a 10 out of 10 for me, actually. I really love this. Wow. So while the camera was off, I was just cleaning my sink real quick in between recipes and um, I turned on my garbage disposal and I was poking a little piece of cinnamon toast crunch. Okay. And I was poking a little piece of cinnamon toast crunch down the garbage disposal with this fork 
and or this is a knife with this knife and the garbage disposal just ate it right up. It was really scary and it just made me think like, what if I put my finger in there? Okay, let's move on. Okay, so this guy did a peanut butter latte. Now listen, I kind of want to do my own thing for this. I'm going to do, I'm going to take the basic premise of it, but I'm going to switch it up, um, which always leads to failure with me. I literally used to buy this peanut butter when I was younger. It's this brand, Laura, Laura Scudder, and I would eat it by the spoonful for like just hours on end and then get the worst stomach ache on this planet and then would feel like shit for the rest of the day. We're gonna start out with making espresso. I could work at a fucking coffee shop so fast. Look at this shit. Check this <laughs> No! I'm gonna warm up some milk and I'm gonna warm this up for like a minute. I normally wouldn't just like add granulated sugar to coffee, but this dude did it, so I'm gonna like trust him. Sugar doesn't have a smell. Did I just discover that or do we all know? Now that we have this very hot milk, I'm gonna take some peanut butter and we're just gonna stir this in. Now we're gonna add a little bit of sugar. That was a lot. Got our espresso shots, peanut butter milk. There is chunks of peanut. No. It's not bad, but you can't taste the peanut butter at all. Oh, I fucking hate this. This is like a one out of 10. And I love peanut butter, so that fucking says something. What are we gonna do next? I'm starting to get, do you know what? I kinda wanna go my own way. Like I, I don't like, okay, yes, it's like fun doing everybody else's recipes, but what if I come up with my own? That like, was that like good acting? I was like trying to be like, oh, I got an idea. When I was at the store today, I did have a few ideas. I wanted to make like a birthday cake coffee. So this is what I did. You're probably like, Emma, how are you gonna do this? I don't know. We need to start out by making some espresso. I don't think I've ever, okay, listen, I drink a lot of coffee in a day, but I've never used my espresso machine this many times in one day. She's probably so tired and I feel really bad. So check this out while she's brewing. So I'm thinking we, do, we take a similar approach, right? We do the whole warming up the milk situation, right? We're gonna take some of this sugar cookie mix and then we're gonna take this syrup. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Back to work, oat milk. I'm gonna add a splash of this, right? This is French vanilla syrup. Boom. Then we're gonna add a little bit of this Betty Crocker mix, right? This is for sugar cookie, but I feel like it would taste good, so. And I didn't wanna go to the cake mix aisle. Then we're gonna add sprinkle, right? Now we're gonna mix with the dirty knife. I feel so bad for my kids in the future because they're gonna be like, mommy, why is there like a piece of broccoli in my cereal? And I'm gonna be like, honey, because I gave you a dirty spoon. We're gonna pour the cake battery. Oh, cake batter coffee recipe from the noggin. Came up with it, let's try it. Y'all, this is good. It tastes like birthday cake. I mean, the sprinkles are all on the bottom, which is kind of an L, but this is pretty good. I would give this an eight out of 10, which is telling me that my ideas are actually not so bad, which is telling me that I think I need to make another one. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't feel good. I am feeling severely ill, but I have one more recipe that I came up with, and I think it would be good for Halloween. God, my brain is broken today. So here's what I'm thinking. A little bit of oat milk. Why not mix my two favorite things together? Is this something from my imagination or is this real? Why do I feel like people eat like caramel and cheese together on apples? Is that not a thing? Because I bought caramel sauce. I feel like caramel and cheese could be a good like flavor combo. I don't know guys, this could be good. <laughs> So we're gonna be using the strainer, right? That's dirty as well. Again, it all mixes in the stomach. Y'all, this might be... I'm in a crazy mood today. <laughs> we're crumpling a Cheez-It on top. Honestly, it looks kind of beautiful. Cheez-It latte check. Cheez-It caramel latte. Cheers. I don't really taste the Cheez-Its at all, which makes it taste pretty good. Honestly, it's not terrible, but... I also don't think you should do it. So five out of 10 for this one. I am going to have explosive diarrhea right now. Oh my God, it hurts. My stomach hurts so bad. Oh my God, I'm sitting on the floor because my tummy hurts. Actually, I'm gonna lay on the floor because my tummy hurts. 
Oh my god. Okay, so I am having excruciating stomach pain, but that's okay. Oh my god, it hurts. Um, I hope you guys had fun doing a little coffee taste test with me today. Um, I'm also so excited that the new Chamberlain Coffee rebrand is out. So go shop now if you want, chamberlaincoffee.com. Try some of the new blends. Um, figure out one that works for you. Um, enjoy it. I worked so hard on this shit and it just feels so good to, to finally get to show all of you and share it with you guys because at the end of the day, that's why I'm doing it so that I can share these things with you guys. And um, I hope you love it and I love all of you. And I'm gonna go literally have explosive diarrhea. So goodbye. I'm gonna go blow up the fucking toilet. Every time I say shit like that, people are like, you're so disgusting. It's like, well, why are you watching my videos? All I do is talk about pee pee and poo poo all the time. It's like you clicked on this and you knew that that's all I talk about. Yet you come back for more. So you must think that pee pee poo poo jokes are a little bit funny, huh? Sorry, I almost forgot about the forehead kiss. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs>